Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I want to tell you why you should not idolize these celebrity couples. Today, we're talking about Cardi B and Offset. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, when you have two low value but worldly successful people like Cardi B and Offset get married and start producing kids, you don't know how many people that don't serve the most high Yah that hate righteousness will use that as a justification to remain and operate in a dysfunctional capacity. You don't know how many men that are low frequency, low value, will see a man carry himself like offset, you know, represent all of this foolishness, thug behavior, nigger them and they'll say well if he can do it i can do it too you don't know how many women that love thought culture that love 304 culture that love harlot behavior whole activity will say well if cardi b can be happily married i can do it too i can do all of this stuff that she's doing and what you find out is, if you give these relationships, these celebrities some relationships, some time, you're gonna realize that their dysfunction will surface. And I'm talking about a, a lot of dysfunction. See, in the black community, we need more, I'm gonna give you an example. We need more couples like Denzel and his wife. Every time you see them, whether they be on the red carpet, or if you hear them speaking, you don't hear them saying no foolishness. Every time you hear Denzel, he's trying to give words of wisdom. Every time you hear his wife, she's giving words of wisdom and encouragement. And then you got, we got a lot of, okay, you think about Cardi B and Offset. You think about Remy Mind Papoose. Man, these people that love low frequency, you know, people that have had their success in the world, especially in our community, they idolize these people. You got women out there that think, okay, if Cardi B does it, I can respond and react like that and I'm gonna be okay. My marriage is gonna prosper. I tell you, man, you need to, when you look at a lot of these anthems that have come about from men and women, when you look at some of the hit songs from the Migos, from Offset, from Cardi B, from Remy Ma, when you look at when you look at some of these anthems, they have made music that's counterproductive to the black family. And here you are fooling yourself, thinking these people, thinking somebody like Cardi B is talking about all kind of harlot. 304 activity, WAP. Here you are thinking that they can make music like that, but they are set apart women behind the scenes. They are highly valuable to the most high Yah in marriage behind the scenes. You out of your damn mind. Sitting up there believing some mess like that. You gotta understand. When you hear Offset and the music he make about busting hoes down, about selling dope, flipping birds. Man, you think that man living righteously behind the scenes? So if, if Hasatan is already a part of these unions and you can tell, what makes you think there's not gonna be any fruit of the spirit coming out of these households? And the reason I'm talking about this is look at what's in the media right now that they have put out there. They have released all of this nonsense. 
when you look at women like Cardi B, you think you're getting a, a, a virtuous woman? When you look at men like Offset, do you think you're getting a, a, a set apart, you fearing man? Hell no. You out of your mind. But our community loves idolizing these people to justify their dysfunction, to justify their bad behavior. And they do this so they don't have to get washed with the word. They do this in order not to be delivered. I feel bad. I feel bad for those kids, you know, that, that that's growing. Like I would, you don't even understand what based upon their kids, how you think their, their little girl is going to grow up. She going to grow up dysfunctional. Why? Because the mama uh, is a hoe that hasn't forsaken her whole ways. The daddy is a thug that hasn't forsaken his thug ways. Only difference is they have, you got to understand when you're willing to, as a woman or a man, make music like that, the music industry will cut you a check in a heartbeat. But if you're somebody that wants to have a positive message in our community, you're not going to get that many spins. That's just by design. You're not going to get that many spins. So I tell you, man, do not, it, 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 it's so dangerous idolizing these people, looking at these celebrity couples that don't uh, show you that they keep the commandments of the Most High Yah, don't love the Most High Yah through their actions. And these people will mention the Most High, will mention God, but they honor him with their lips. Their heart is far from them. I'm telling you, man, if you are a woman and you are married and you riding around listening to these woman anthems, these anthems that program you to be dysfunctional, don't be surprised if your marriage fails. You know, same thing as a man, you riding around listening to dope dealer music, you know, uh, uh, thug music and all of this, don't be surprised if your household falls apart and uh, you are having havoc wreaked in your life. Look at who you idolize, you know? I don't like when you look at some of these people that make trauma and dysfunctional music. Uh, what's her name? Uh, let me see. You got Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion. You got Lil Boosie. You got Offset. Uh, you got the Migos. Uh, you got Remy Ma. You got uh, Summer Walk. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody need to be listening to that mess in marriage unless you want your house to fall apart. You look at all Summer Walker's songs, there is nothing uh, in line with righteousness that she talks about. That nigga ain't shitting. These hoes ain't worth a damn. And bust them down, skeet all on them. Shawty stuck a tongue out and said, ah. Like, you be like, who would listen to this foolishness? Low value people. Don't be surprised if you struggling in life, in relationships, in marriage, because you sitting up partaking of stuff that is shaping your environment. I've done videos on how the music, the frequencies, the beat, all of that is programming you. Worst mistake you can make is idolizing a very unrighteous. I don't care what religion these folks claim. Do they keep the commandments? Do they fear the most high? Worst mistake you can make is idolizing a, a very rebellious celebrity couple. Closer to y'all ministries kicking a gun barrel straight. Bow.